<laughs> All right. Hi, everyone. This is Lilia. I'm a professional face painter in Berlin, Germany. And well, since the world is going crazy right now, I thought it would be a great idea to do something I always wanted to do, but I thought, well, who would watch it? Um, I really want to, um, yeah, I want to practice with you. I'm not sure if you are practicing face painting yourself or if you're just watching. Um, but yeah, I want to invite you to spend some time with me. And um, yeah, so I prepared all my materials. I am not sure how it's going to turn out. This is my first live stream. Just dropped something, <laughs> my water bottle. Um, my first live stream, so yeah. So far nobody joined, that's fine because I actually didn't tell anyone. <laughs> I'm a bit scared. So yeah, today I would like to show you how I make this rose. Um, yeah, these are the sheets I use on the job so the children can um, choose what they want to get face painted. And yeah, this rose is very simple to do. I really like it. Very basic. It's just two colors and just some line work. So um, I hope, wait, let me show that to you better. I hope you can see it. Um, as you can see, it consists of actually just one type of stroke, which is um, the tiger stroke. And well, one, one dot in the middle, right? So I'm using Face Bank from Diamond FX. It's one palette I bought and yeah, I really like it. It has all the all the colors I need. And um, of course, it's not enough. As you can see, the white is already gone. It was supposed to be here. There's some black, some black has left it. You can see it, but yeah. So today we will need the colors green and red, of course. So you can do this with any, any two colors, I think. Um, you can be creative. So yes, grab your brush. I have my Loconel round brush number three. I really like them. They are nice and pointy. Um, so yeah. We will start with um, some practice with the line work because yeah, it's good to practice, right? <laughs> Before you actually draw something. So um, I'm going to take, well, I'll just use red already. So I have my water spritzer, the one I just dropped before. <laughs> and I spritz it on a little bit of my paint. We go, oops, yeah. Load your brush so that it's a little bit, you know, not, not too watery. It shouldn't be like watercolor paint. But yeah, take some time to activate the paint. <laughs> and then if it's a little bit creamy, yeah, that looks good, I think. Yeah. If you practice a bit more, just, you know, just spritzing water on your colors if you're just a beginner. And then just, you know, playing a bit with the with the paint, you will get a feeling because um, in face painting, it's very important to get a good feeling, or get a good sense of the consistency because depending on the consistency, you can do different things. Okay, now I have to start painting because <laughs> it's a uh, thing to dry out. Okay, so I'll show you the technique for the tiger strokes on my arm. I hope, yeah, I hope you can see well. No, I can't paint like this. <laughs> I'm sorry how to do that. Let me sit on my legs. Right. That's yes, that's much better. Okay. So I hope it will be sharp, uh, focused. Yes. Okay. So I'll show a little bit to the side because otherwise you can't see if I'm petting like this, right? Um. So this tiger stroke, the tiger stroke looks like this. Press down. Just you know, you would wiggle it, but this is for the beginning. So you have two pointy ends and you go a bit thicker in the middle, right? Let me get some more paint. While I'm talking, the paint is drying out. So um, you can practice this on a practice sheet or just on your arm, even on your face, on your face if you want, well, that's a little more tricky. So yeah, let's just practice some of those. I, <laughs> I can't do it very focused because I'm... Um, it's an unusual position for me, but you can just do whatever you want. So press down and go up. Um, you can 
make it in an angle because that's all we need for the for the rows, right? The rows consists of tiger stripes that are like in a circle-y shape. So yeah, try to take a brush that has a nice that is really nice and pointy because that's important. Otherwise it will not look as nice. Okay, so press down. And when you come up, you can twist your brush a little bit. See, it became even even more pointy, <laughs> pointier, I don't know. <laughs> it's not my native language. My native language, native language is German. So you might, you might have heard because of the accent already. Okay. I think we are we are good, you know. I'm sure you practice something as well. And then we have to make one dot in the middle, right? So let's practice the dot just because we have time. Okay, <laughs> there you go, that's your dot. I need to figure out some better lighting, I think. Ah, but well, not now. Okay, so for the rows, let's look at it one, more, one last time for the inner part. So we start with a dot in the middle. And then we have two tiger stripes, two tiny tiger stripes <laughs> in the around it. And then we'll just continue to paint some around them. Okay. And yeah, so I'll do that on my on my cheek because that's the easiest for me. I'll actually use a mirror. Yes, I think that's still lighting. Yeah, that's okay. Right. Okay, so load your brush with red or any color you want. Dark blue would look nice, actually. Well, anyway, I have it on my... <laughs> I already have it loaded now. Okay, so start with a dot. Just right there, because we're practicing, it should be where you have a lot of space, right? Could be a bit bigger. Right. And then just place a tiny tiger stripe in a kind of... A is it a C or the other way around for you? I think this is a C shape, right? So let's start with that. Right. And press down, turn around. It's not perfect, but you know, we'll paint many more, so it will be uh it will not be that as much in focus because there will be lots of stripes around it. Okay. So maybe that's better. <laughs> uh let's place the other one right here. Okay, you know, I'm practicing myself. That's why I, <laughs> that's why I started the live chat because, well, it's much easier for me to practice something if somebody is watching or could be watching. Nobody's there right now, but, oh no, one person is there or two. <laughs> Hi there, you can write something in the chat. I'd love to see. Hi. <laughs> I've seen you before, Sweet Downy. You commented on some of my videos. <laughs> Good to see you. Are you practicing something too? Um, let's continue. I'll try to read the chat and not talk while I'm painting. <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah, I did them. Uh, these out of napkins. <laughs> Found them on YouTube. It was a nice tutorial. Okay, so. Let me know if the technique is nice. You know, the lighting is terrible, but has to do it for today. If I can sh change something, let me know. So, so we have four tiger stripes now. And then let's make another one. There's a bit of a gap, so I'll try to close the gap. Yes, I like that. Okay. So, you could already leave it like that because people could, you know, people can see that it's a rose. But I prefer to prefer to make it bigger now because, you know, I have lots of space. But if you did it like up here, that would look very nice, I think, with tiny leaves. We'll get to the leaves later. But yeah, let's make that rose a bit bigger because we want to practice, right? So. And another one, hmm. yeah. Okay, hmm. 
I like that. Maybe one more. One more row, I'd say. So I wanted to do that for ages, but I never thought somebody would actually want to watch. But now I think, yeah, maybe people have more time and maybe people, you know, want to practice themselves or just watch something. Face painting is really relaxing, you know. I do it for the children, but I might think about face painting myself just for fun. You know, these days I don't have to have any jobs because I had to cancel them because of the coronavirus. So I have more time and maybe should take the time to practice. Let me put one more here. Somebody wrote something. I'll check soon. Right. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't understand why it's not popular yet. It's really, really cool. You can do so many things. Um, most of the girls are into makeup, but well, I think you can do lots of different things with pa with face painting. I can't do makeup very well. I never use eyeshadow or anything because <laughs> I don't know how. And I'm a bit scared because people say, no, you're doing it wrong. I don't know if you can do anything wrong. Maybe just a bit weird. Anyway, actually I use another, I will use a different green. These are from Fusion Face Paint, uh, Fusion Body Art. It has some a bit darker green. So I'll take, the, uh, sorry, can you see? Yeah, it's green. So I'll take this one. And for the leaves, it will be exactly the same. Uh, like it's all tiger stripes, just not bent, right? And maybe a bit shorter. That's how I do them. There are many, many ways of how you can make the of how you can make the leaves. But yeah, I'll show you the ones that I do. That I use this design if I don't have a lot of time. You know, if there's a long row and oh, long line. Sorry, <laughs> messed it up. Okay, so I I like to place the leaves in areas where there's a gap. I actually don't know why. And I don't like that red leaf. Let me fix that quickly. Let's take another brush and get some more red. I didn't see that because it's difficult to see it. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's how I like it. Okay. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, some more tiger stripes. So I start where there's a gap right here. Shouldn't touch the leaves. I like like this and then press down, wiggle a bit and then like that. Oh, that wasn't pointy. Okay, like this. And then I like using maybe, they look good if they're in three. Like that, yeah. It looks a bit dark, I think, with this lighting. It's not black, <laughs> it's dark green. But yes, that's how it is right now. So maybe, oh, I can't see. <laughs> maybe one here as well. I'm just guessing right now. Oh, that was too close. So maybe. Yeah, okay, let's leave it like that. It should be okay. And maybe you want set tiger stripes down here. You can start on both ways, uh, both ways. It doesn't really matter from the outside or the inside. Oh, stop talking. Right. And maybe a few small ones. I like that. Tiny, 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 so difficult. All right. Yeah, I think that's it. And then yeah, you could stop right here, but if you want, you can, no, you practice your tiger stripes for now. That's done. <laughs> if you want, you can add some more sparkles. 
Will I do that today? Yes, I think I will. Um, take another brush. And, oh, I need my white. Yes. There you go. You should actually take some time to activate the white, even more than you do with any other color. I heard. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> so wherever you're watching this, I hope you're safe and I hope you're healthy and you have enough food and yeah, crazy times. Here in Germany, people buy toilet paper. I'm not sure what it's like in your country, but it's difficult to get toilet paper and well, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> It's not very nice if people really need toilet paper and there's none, but well, I hope they will restock soon. <laughs> not sure if you call it, like in Germany, we call it uh, hamstern, which means ha like hamstering. Not sure if that makes sense in your language, but um, yeah, because you know hamsters, right? They stuff everything they can into the mouth, like, and then, yeah, that's what we call it here. I'm not sure if you have a term for that. Like this as well in English. Okay. That's done. It takes some time. You know, some people say you should do it for two to three minutes. I'm a bit impatient now, so I won't do that. But the paint is nice and nice and creamy. It's quite, quite thick. Okay. So now I'll... I'll add some more sparkle, I think. Yes, maybe some dots over here. Just tiny ones. I think I'll mess up the painting now, but it's okay. We're here to practice, right? I'm practicing dots. So, yes, there you go. And then some here. And Hmm. Maybe two. Yeah, huge one. <laughs> See, when that happens, I like to take is it a closer look. And if I still, oh, it's okay. It's okay. I'll just leave it like that. Okay. Let me proceed with the mirror because I think that's better. And yeah, much better. Take some more white. And if you're watching this later, so not live. Then you can write down below if you practice something with me or anything you want to comment on. Tidani says, in Los Angeles era, people are buying into the fear and toilet papers off the shelf. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> people shouldn't be afraid. They should be careful, I think. They should be careful and, yeah, use the time wisely, I think. <laughs> I heard that in, in America you had a prayer day today. I found that very interesting. I like the idea. I pray too today. It's Sunday anyway, right? But I try to pray every day. Oh, I shouldn't talk while I'm painting. I think it needs some more in the middle as well. If you place them in threes, like they look the best. But because this design is very big, I, tr I make them bigger now. Let me know what you think. Did I mess it up? I don't know. <laughs> I'll just proceed to paint because this is a practice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, great. Good to know that you like the white. Okay. I think the last thing I want to add is glitter. Which glitter should I take? This is my glitter bag and that's the one I usually use from Eulenspiegel. But let's see what else we have. Yeah, I think I'll just use that one for now. The paint is already dry, so I will just wet my finger and yeah, you know, just dampen it and then 
favorite part. Let me close the paints before I do that because there's enough glitter in them already. So glitter, glitter, glitter. Yay! Okay. Can you see it? <laughs> Hope you can see it. I'll watch the video later and see how it turned out. Need to figure out some lighting, I think. <laughs> Thank you so much. You say it's beautiful. Yeah. So that was it. Everything I planned for today. How much time did it take? 20 minutes. Should I do something more? What else do I have? Yeah, we can. That's a design I did as my as my first uh, first video ever. This it's this one just with a diamond and not a heart, and it's really good to practice. Actually, let's practice some more dots. I think that's good, just because you know, I set up everything. Why would I finish now? <laughs> right. I'll use the color red again because it will match. And yeah, red is a nice color. Okay, I'm loading up my brush again. Actually, this is not the best. Where's my... I'll use this. Um, it's a Marguerite. This uh, brush, yeah, brush. I was looking for the word. So I load that up because I really love using that for dots. They're just, yeah. it makes amazing dots. Right, go. So it's quite tricky to do that in the middle of the forehead on yourself. But let's see if we can do it. Oh, well, let me get my mirror because it's, uh, it's a bit more sharp. Yes, okay. You could use a filler brush for this, but I like keeping it very simple and just using one brush. But do as you wish. Okay. Now, there are so many ways of how you can do this, but Let's just place a row of dots do, 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 like this and the other side. So I think I need more, more water. The paint consistency for these bigger dots has to be very creamy. So that's what I'm doing right now. That never happens on the job. Well, I never lift it up, right? So, <laughs> so messy. <laughs> I hope you're not making a mess like me. Okay, that's nice and creamy. Yeah, look, there's there's a lot of paint on that brush. So let's place some dots. Yeah, that's nice. And another one. Up until here and let's do the same on the other side as symmetrical as you can yeah double checking that's good yeah it will wash off anyway so i'm not worried about the hair and now yeah I think I'll just put some tiny dots in between. It would look even better on children's skin because mine is a bit wrinkly, but who cares? It's my beautiful skin. Skin is beautiful. Any person's skin is beautiful. That's also why I love face painting. <laughs> you can decorate it even more. Oh, wait. Let's do that again. Okay. Yeah, a single. Yeah, better. Okay, let's continue to paint some dots. 
dot, dot, dot. Okay, here you go. And now I like to combine, uh, to, to connect the big dots with tiny little dots. Let's see how that looks. I change up that design often. Mm -hmm. Like that. Oh, these are tiny. I hope I can do that again. Yeah, okay. Okay. Get rid of the hair. Can you see? Uh, maybe like that. Oh, great. That's much better, I hope. Is it? Yes. <laughs> Okay, mm -hmm. I think it needs one more dot here. Oh, <laughs> became two tiny dots. Need more paint. It's no problem. You can just do it again. Right, let's do the same on the other side. Oh. <laughs> it's not just face painting practice for me, it's also, you know, recording practice. Yeah, okay. And now the tiny dots. <laughs> More paint. I think this design needs some lipstick in the end because it's so bright. And more dots. Hmm. I always hope you can still see. I think you can. Right. Looks like this now. Careful with the hair. If there's some hair like if there's some loose hair, just wait. Don't pull it away because it might smudge everything. So just wait until the paint is dry and then you can just, it might be stuck onto the paint. You can just lift it off and it's fine. So yeah. Okay. And then we can place some teardrops up here and down there. I like to do that. Yeah, I'll do that now. We didn't practice them before, but you know, if, if you ever practice any face painting, I'm sure you're familiar with the term line work or like teardrops. So we'll place some teardrops. If you don't know what that is and you want to learn it, let me know. And then I'll make a video. <laughs> it's not the best. I think I'll switch brushes again because they're not very skilled in using that brush for um, for teardrops. Okay, not yet. Well, yeah, it's not in the middle, but it's okay. Should have started a bit up uh, anyway. Teardrop, teardrop, teardrop. One more. Well. I like calling these sessions practice sessions because then I don't have the pressure to make it look perfect, right? In any way, I like it. <laughs> I'm actually taking a face painting course and my teacher would say, oh, well, I'll do that again. But, you know, we're having fun. Okay. I think I'll, yeah, I think two more on each side should look good. A little bit shorter than on the top, so. Oh, no. Nice and pointy, please. Right. Okay. And two more. <laughs> I 
That's not really a teardrop, but it's okay. <laughs> the placement is okay. Right. And then one thing I really like doing, the little girls, with or without the mirror? I think with the mirror. Like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. So let's take that hair away. Okay. So I like placing two teardrops near the eyes because that makes them look really elegant. <laughs> Thank you for your compliment. So one, two, just tiny ones, not too close to the eye if the children are too young. And then <laughs> yep, that looks okay. Right. Maybe one more dot. Oh, how about paint? <laughs> right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. I think for this design, it's very very minimalistic, I say, because it's just one color. And I think I will, I will, will I use glitter now? Yeah, I'll use glitter, you know. Why would you not use glitter? Why would you not use glitter? So, take glitter again. And there goes the diamond. Oh, I forgot something. Well, I didn't forget about it. I got an idea just now. Let me do that afterwards. Oh, close the paint again. Okay. Because you know glitter stays everywhere, right? If it's in your kit, you can't get it out anymore. Okay. And of course. Okay. So that's what it looks like. Oh, sparkly, sparkly. I love it. I love the glitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't you use glitter? Okay, that's that. And now the idea I had is to use one little teardrop as a highlight um, on the diamond. Well, I hope I don't mess it up now. But you know, if you make a mistake, just put it on top and everything is fine. So. Bit too big, but. Maybe I, maybe I can smudge it a bit. Let me take another brush. So what, this is an experiment. I'm not sure what happens now. Oh. Not bad. Oh. Well, it's a bit better. There are some real masters at painting diamonds and they look so realistic, I'm amazed. I hope I'll do that one day too. Okay, yes, and because we use so much red, I need some lipstick. Hmm, maybe I'll practice something else. There's still some space, right? <laughs> Just thinking, should I leave it like that? <laughs> thank you, Raquel, <laughs> and thank you for joining me. Do you have anything you want me to paint? Because I still have some space. I won't paint on my nose because that's, you know, nobody does it and it's awkward. My, no, it's not awkward, it's awful. That's the word I want to use because it's, you know, it's like a totally bent canvas. Oh yes, glitter, glitter goes everywhere. <laughs> so it's very difficult. I still struggle to paint the nose of children for, you know, mini mouse or something. It's okay with a fibble brush, but if they're a little bit wiggly, then it doesn't turn out nice. So yes, so I have some space here. What would you like me to paint? Any 
any idea? If not, I'll take a look and I don't know. Mm -hmm. I can practice a tribal design. How about that? I have this one over here. I usually use it for guys or for adults if they want me to paint something. Whoop. <laughs> there goes the Spider-Man. <laughs> Uh, I use two designs. One is for very um, high volume even, uh, events, and this one is for if I have some more time. Um, oh, yeah. I can show you again what I painted. I painted this um, rose because today we practice some tiger stripes. And you start with a dot. Yeah, with a dot, and then some tiger stripes around, and then leaves are tiger stripes as well. I used it. Yeah. That's how I do it on Little Children usually, so you can see how you do it. You can rewatch it if you want. Oh, yeah, I showed everything. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> uh, it's so much more fun to do that together because, you know, usually face paint is at home, practice something, and then they wonder, is it nice? Is it not nice? Oh, this is like, why am I doing this <laughs> sometimes? And... Um, yeah. So let me know if you're face painting something as well. And where did my idea go? Oh yes, the lines. Okay. So for this, I think I'll continue to use that brush. What color should I use? I have lots of red now. I should use a darker color. Maybe. I don't know. Whoever says the first color, I will use it. <laughs> Some blue, okay. Dark or bright? <laughs> I have two. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm going to use blue. Well, look, I have two ones. The light one and the dark one. So which one? What do you think? Well, my, my shirt is dark blue, right? So maybe I should use this one. If you don't see anything else, I'll use that one. Taking the water. Light one. Okay, light one. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be very tricky because, uh, yeah, it's much easier to paint here, but, oh, you know, it's practice time. So. Loading up my brush. It still has some red in it. <laughs> Should have done it more properly, but anyway. Is it gone now? I think I'll have to do that again. Well, I rinse it thoroughly. So. <clears throat> How long have you been to face painting? I've been, I started um, six years ago, I think. 2013? Wait, that's seven. Seven years already. Wow. Yeah. I started doing that um, while I was studying as a, yeah, just a, some job. And I really liked it. I didn't know I would like it as well. That's fun. They're both fun. Completely different and I love it. Okay, I have enough paint now. So it will be, you know, it won't look, actually, I, I think I will, will I re should I remove this one? No, I'll just paint around it. Okay, where's my mirror? Here. Let me position myself better. Right. So I always start with a C shape. So it will be a bit smaller because I used up some space already. But yes, here you go. That's a huge tiger line again. See that? And I'll make it even thicker on that side. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's better. Okay. There's a real science about how to place this. And um, I can't show you that yet because I... Uh, 
I didn't apply any of the principles right now, I think. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> I'm still learning. And then I like, yeah, I like placing a second C around it, kind of almost on the same, but shorter. And then I'm running out of space. <laughs> Oh no. Well, let me combine them like this. And it's starting to look a bit tribal already, right? No, oh, that's not nice. Wait. Yeah. So. <laughs> Glad you like the color. Okay. And then something I would, yeah, I would look, leave that like that. And then I like making some, you know, there's so many C shapes, but this one is facing down. Like this. And yeah, more paint. making it a double C shape, if that makes sense. Doesn't really. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just improvising, but um, connect those. <laughs> well, I'll just keep it like that. It's just practice, right? So, yeah, if you really want to go crazy, you can um, do some, it's not really outlining, is it shading? I'm not sure, I'm not sure what you call it. So I will use the dark blue now to add some contrast. And it's so tiny, you can barely see it. I got a new tiny. <laughs> Is that even a brush? Are there some bristles? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, practice makes it perfect, yes. One thing I find really important when you're practicing that you really have to focus. That, yeah, I stopped doing it while I'm listening to some audiobooks or something because then, you know, I'm just doodling, but I'm not learning as much as I did um, if I hadn't listened to audiobooks as well. So, <laughs> I've never done that, right? I'll do, I will do some dark lines just underneath it. So it should look like some shadow. We'll see, we'll see. So one is here. Hmm, that's good. Yeah, I like the brush. Makes it tiny. And some more here. And hmm. Press down too much a bit, but it's okay. And more paint. One trick as well, if you don't like a line, just make many more lines, then the eyes of the viewers will get distracted. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> right, like, like we did here. Well, you, I covered it with glitter anyway, but the first one I didn't really like because it was touching the dot in the middle, which is not really perfect um for this design because the design kind of the principles that no none of the lines are touching but you know we place so many things around it so nobody will see it well this one is going to be a bit tricky because there are not a lot of lines but it should be okay okay Really, 
I think I'll let me fix that. I'm yeah, I'm using some is it what's it called? I don't know. Forgot the name, sorry. I'm trying your not to use um baby wipes because they're very bad for the environment, I just found out recently. Because they're not cotton, right? This one is pure cotton, even the st stick, the handle is cotton, so... Okay, there you go. You can correct things very precisely. Q-tips, thank you. <laughs> yes. In Britain, they call them something with cotton sweep I have no idea I used that word already in a tutorial but well there you go let's do that again <gasps> this I'll leave it like that <laughs> not as I intended but it's okay so some more here should I sit more closely? What do you think? I can't do it with the current setup, but I could do that in the future because it's quite far away, right? I'm not sure what it's like for you guys. Okay. I think that's it for the shading. Um, how long it took to make the other paintings look sort of detail? Uh, this one is taking the longest, I think. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't check the time, and I'm not doing this in a in a um, in the speed of what I would like. How I would do it on the job, or if I were alone, because I'm talking obviously, and I can't. You know, I try not to talk while I'm painting because that will mess it all up. Yeah, close up will be interesting. Okay, I'll try to do the, to do that next time. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can add some highlights. I haven't practiced highlighting a lot, so maybe today's the day. The reason is why I I had I had a hard time liking um, highlights because I guess I saw some wrong highlighting. And I thought like, no, well, that messes it up. I will just not do it. But then I saw some good ones and I was like, oh, wow, that looks great. And it does make sense. So I'm not sure if I grasped the sense already, but I'll try. Where should it be? At the top. That's all I know. Yeah, let's do that at the... I mean, at the top of the line, you know, like, <laughs> of course, this is the bottom one, but... On top, on top of this line. Hmm, that's a bit too straight. And the paint is too dry. Very interesting to work with this tiny brush. <clears throat> face it's a bit very it's very bright but too late now okay it's going to look like some I don't know frozen design so some up here ah is it actually visible no, it's not visible Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, practicing. So whenever you practice something and you don't like what you did, it's still, you're learning something, right? For this one, 
I think highlights belong exactly on top of the line and not above it, if that makes sense. So that's what I just learned. And I will just leave it like that because I, I don't want to paint everything again. And there's no need. And maybe that makes sense. Not sure. Don't think so. Oh, I think I'll, I'll just leave it. Okay. That's that design, tribal design with shadows and highlights, which I'm not sure if they're good. If you're a face painter and you're watching this later, please give me some feedback. And yeah, total mess, but that's what, you, what it looks like when you're practicing. For face painting, it's really best to practice on skin because if you, they are practice boards, but they're not like skin. So um, yeah, okay, let me add some lipstick and then that's it. Always use Q-tips, uh, thank you again for the lipstick. Don't use a brush. Um, because I can't think right now. Because uh, if you're painting many children in a row, you don't want to use the same brush on another child. I did that in the beginning until somebody said, you know, that's not very hygienic. And I was like, you're right. Sorry. So. This is a bit, uh, <laughs> what should I say? <laughs> oh no, I'll use an ex another one. Sorry. It's hard to focus on practicing when talking, but that's, well, I'm practicing three things today. That's good. Future live streams will be better. Um, not sure though if I will be able to make a lot of them because I might be moving soon and I don't know what the connection is like so we'll have to see okay here you go Yes, that looks good. Okay, that's the finished design. Well, the finished, this the lipstick belongs to this design <laughs> usually. So that was done. So yeah, let me show that to you again. So we practiced the uh, tiger stripes and used that as the rose with some tiny dots and glitter. And then we practice this design. You start with a big circle and then some dots around here and there, and then, you know, placing different dots underneath it and then some teardrops. And some teardrops over here, like two, one, two, and a dot on the other side as well. And then we did that tribal design. Right, let me read what you said. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, <laughs> I did the same. I filmed a movie for YouTube. Well, not three times, but I think just once. And then made it private again. Yeah. But I did invite some people afterwards to watch it, I think. I invited some to watch it at the same time, but they, they didn't have time. So they watched it afterwards. And uh, But I will don't, you know, I will not uh, make it public. I think. I don't know. I don't I don't think so. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, recommend me to the Onesis. That's great. <laughs> yeah, if you know some people who want to watch these kinds of videos as well. Um yeah, let me know. And also if you have some um yeah, any requests for designs, then um let me know. Because I only have so many designs in this folder. I have like four, eight, 16 designs in this folder. 
some more somewhere else, but yeah, I'm happy to practice something else um, because I did these designs, like these designs <laughs> a lot of times already, not this one, well, not in that way. Um, yeah, and I want to practice, right? So thank you so much for joining me. That's the end of today's live stream. Um, feel free to like this video because that will show other people that the video was nice and um, they'll watch it too. And I hope to see you again soon. <laughs> Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. <laughs>